So my first ever Q&A video. Um, thank you guys for all the questions that you've asked, some good, some bad. Uh, I've received about 60 in total. Um, so I'm going to do my best to answer as many as I can. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so the first question is from Jan B underscore photography. It says, how is it to be the son of a Ferrari owner? Um, it's pretty good. It's really cool going to all the car shows, um, seeing people take photos and stuff. It's really awesome. And also when you go to London, it's pretty cool as well. Uh, the second one by I am the Drift King CBK. And it says, will you inherit the Ferrari or do you think your dad will have sold it by then? Um, well, I'm 15 now, so he needs to be 18 to drive, so he might still have it. Um, next one, Eddie Farah, what's your dream car? Um, personally, to, to actually own, realistically, uh, I'd love an Audi A1, because I think they're really cool little cars. Um, but the Aventador is probably one of my dream cars, because that thing's just awesome. Um, Joey underscore Melksham, what's your next car going to be? Um... From this, it'll either be the Spider or the Speciale, but I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, we're happy as we are with this thing at the moment, it's pretty mad. Um, has Theo. What got you into car spotting and photography, even though I already know the question? Um, it was you, actually, and many others, such as Shmi, um, after watching some of his videos. So if you want to go follow them guys, I'll put a link down below. Harry Medway Smith, um, Monaco or London? That's a good question, actually. Um, well, London's nearer, so it's obviously cheaper. Um, there's more Arabs that come over here, I think. Um, but Monaco is is much smaller than London, so you see supercars, you see them more, I guess, because there's just it's a smaller place, so they all go to the same place, and you just see more. Whereas London's kind of spread out, I guess. Um, so I'd say Monaco. Charlie underscore Wenlock, PC or Mac. Um, I've used PC before, um, Windows, I don't really like it, it's pretty rubbish. Um, now I use a Mac, it's much better to be fair. So if you want a computer, get a Mac, they're good. Xbox One or PS4, Jammy Butch again. Um, Xbox One, because Forza's on it basically. Jammy Butch again. Um, South Park or Family Guy. Um, Family Guy. So, oh, some car related ones now, okay. Um, CMSW Photography, 458 or Speciale. Um, I've been in both. You may have seen my ride video on the Speciale uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, so go check that out if you haven't seen it already. Um, I, I quite like the Speciale. It's very lightweight. Um, but I have to say the noise of this, it's more screamy and I like that, so probably have to say this still. Um, P1 or LAF or 918, Cars of Switzerland. Well, that is actually a really good question. Um, okay, so first of all, I'd say the P1, very good looking car, love the spoiler, and it spits flames, like, amazing. Um, but I'd say it could sound a bit better. Um, like say a Lamborghini or Ferrari to sound, needs to sound a bit more screamy. Um, La Ferrari, also amazing car, uh, sounds amazing, but I'd say the wing mirrors are too big, they're too wide, they do look a bit odd. And the 918, uh, pretty cool car as well, sounds good, um, but I'd, I would say that they could have designed the front end a bit better um, compared to the rear end. Supercar lifestyle. Why is the plate CGT on a 458? You've no idea how many, many people have asked me why is it got Carrera GT on the plate. Um, well, basically, my dad's had this number for a long time, um, and his favourite car, well, the whole plate is CGT3, and his favourite car before this was uh, Carrera GT3. So, yeah, there we go. Doesn't really fit in, but if we sell the number plate, then we'll probably get one to do with a Ferrari or something. DHR underscore photography. How fast has a 458 been before? Um, well, basically, uh, with Wilson, there was a drag strip thing, um, and we got up to about 140, which was pretty fun. Uh, pretty scary as well, but yeah, there you go. Amos underscore Menin underscore photography. 
What's the name of the software that you edit night portraits with? I use Adobe Lightroom 5 mainly, and I've just got Photoshop CS6, I think. Henry Wood underscore. Um, do you think the recent attitude towards spotting has changed and people don't have as much respect as they used to be? Um, well, I'd say since I've started spotting, I started 2013, I think. Um, before then, I think it was a bit more mad, but now the local residents are kind of getting a bit annoyed because everyone's making so much noise. Um, and so I think, well, yeah, the police are obviously pulling a lot of people over because they have nice cars, which is a bit stupid. Um, and checking their insurance and stuff. But so I'd say that people have, people are more aware of it, I'd say. Um, I can I can still see it happening in a few years time, but I don't think it'll be as mad as it was, say 2010 time about that. Halves cars. Would you get an exhaust system for the 458? Um, we would, but of course this car has sort of five years warranty, um, so basically we don't want to get rid of that. Uh, so that's a pretty good feature of the Ferrari. Um, but if it didn't have that, then we probably would go for that as well. That, okay. Jammy Butch again. What type of water do you use to clean your car? I don't think that really needs answering, to be honest. Um, Casper T. Kelly. Do you get dropped off at school in the 458? Um, I have done a few times, but to be honest, I don't really like it because everyone looks at me. And then I get asked um, a lot, like, oh my god, is that your car? Stuff like that. But yes, it has happened before. Um, TSOL underscore automotive. Uh, what's next after the 458? Well, I've pretty much answered that already. Either the Spider or the Speciali, I would think, realistically. TS Auto Photos. Why do you have such a bad car? Will you ever own a McLaren? Uh, in brackets, please say yes. No. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being bad, 10 being good, how would you rate P1, Laffer 918? Um, okay, so McLarens, as you know, there's pretty big rivalry between the 12C, 650S and 458 Speciali. Um, personally, I think McLarens could be a bit more exciting. Like, they don't really sound of anything, to be honest. Um, whereas, say, Ferraris, they are pretty loud, um, screamy, as I said before. Um, and rating the P1 Laffer 918, well, they're all amazing cars, to be fair. They've revolutionised the car world, I guess. Um, P1, i give that 8 or 9 out of 10. Um, looks amazing. Wing is awesome, spits flames, but could sound a bit better. LaFerrari, um, I'm going to say 8 or 9 again. Um, cause it looks good in any colour. I mean, the white one that was in London before, that just looks awesome. And Paul Bailey's new one in dark red, that just looks so good as well. So it basically looks in, looks good in any colour. But as I said before, the wing mirrors are a bit odd. And 918, I'd give it an 8. Um, I think there is a lot of them in silver, which is also quite samey. But there are a few that are different colours. I know of a few that are around that are rather unusual. Um, but as I said before, the front end could be a bit more exciting, more menacing, let's say. Um, spotting cars, this is the last actual question, actually. Uh, what car would you buy if you had 500,000, in brackets, can't say an Aventador? Uh, for your information, I would actually get an Aventador, if it didn't say that I couldn't. Um, but if I had 500,000... Um... That's actually a really hard question. I'd say Huracan, probably. Um, it, it says one car, but um, I'll probably get two in 500,000. Probably Huracan, that's like 180,000. Um, GT3 RS, when it comes out, that looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's all the questions. Um, I'll probably be doing some more Q&As if you guys like this one. Um, so yeah, give a like to the video if you enjoyed it. Also remember to subscribe and all that stuff because it really helps me out. Uh, but thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you guys soon.